here. Let's talk about the Synoptic and how to create a custom tabs for, uh, for a project. So the first thing I want to show you is by default we have these um, default tabs that we can access here when we uh, generate the guide. If we open the settings, I'm going to use my shortcut. Um, we have here the available tabs, so we, we can see it's two, the quadruples and the biped, that's all. But we can add more here and we can configure this for, for each project. So let's do it. First thing, I'm going to close Maya. And I'm going to check two things. The first one is my um, my environment variables. So I'm just going to open this with uh, Sublime Text. So here is my, my little launcher uh, that I configured my environment variables for uh, launch Maya. So you can see here I'm, I have ready one environment variable called uh, MGR Synoptic Path. So I'm just going to just gonna uncomment un un this thing. And I have to add here a new path for um, my custom Synoptic tabs. Obviously, we can we can add it on the uh, MGR installation by default, but it's probably something you don't want to do because uh, for each project you may want to have different tab, different configuration for each character. And if you have several projects running on your facility at the same time, um, yeah, it's it's kind of um, dirty to do it like this. So it's better to to create the um, each each project with uh, his own configuration. So I have ready here my custom synoptic that it's an empty folder right now. It's the one that I'm gonna use to to create my custom tab. So the first thing I'm gonna do it's um, configure this folder on my environment variable. So I'm just copy this and paste it there. So that's all we need for the moment. And now obviously we need custom tabs because if I launch now Maya, uh, it's not gonna find any tab. It's going to be empty, the list that we showed before. So to do that, I'm just opening here my mgear installation and go to scripts, mgear, maya, um, shifter, I'm sorry, synoptic, tabs. I'm just going to get uh, the biped, so just copy paste here. And just for the sake of the example, I'm just going to change the name that's recommended to keep unique names. So you, you clearly know where you pull in your, your data. So let's say this is going to be the sample, biped sample. So this is the first thing we need to do. Now, if I if I launch Maya from my, not from the launch, I mean the, the icon thing here, I just should delete this thing. So from the environment, that is the one that I just configured here, just going to launch again. It's going to take a few seconds. And you will see now that the um, the tabs um, are updated, and we have only one option that is this new uh, biped sample. Let's wait a little bit. It's just uh, loading all the plugins. Okay, so now if I go M gear shifter import biped, well, it can be the biped or the the quadruped for the example, but just to keep it simple. So now you can see here it still have his whole configuration. That's okay. Um, it, re it remembers, but as soon as we close and reopen again this thing, because I just remove it from the configuration, it's it's pop out the this option here. It's um, yeah, it's because it was stored here. That's that's completely normal. So I'm just gonna add this one. And yeah, that's all. So now, uh, if I open my Synoptic, obviously, there is no rig build yet so <laughs> i i recommend to build your rigs first okay it's slow it's, yeah it's a uh, building i don't have my my script editor here to see the log but bear with me it's uh, it's building okay now it's there and we go to animation synoptic Here's it. So this is the biped sample. You can see here in the top name that it's biped sample, but it's the same, exactly the same thing that we had before. So now that we know how to add the custom um, synoptic tabs to our projects, let's see how to add uh, some uh, buttons or some configuration to this. Let's see it in the next video. Thank you. Bye bye.